Good morning trainees, I am Raghavan. On behalf of NIMI, I welcome you all for this video section. Today, we are going to discuss about Ohm's law. Ohm's law is a very basic law in electrical engineering. This law was suggested by a German scientist, Sir George Simon Ohm. He gives a relationship between three basic electrical parameters. They are voltage, current and resistance. What is voltage? Simply, voltage is a force or pressure or potential difference. Voltage is also known as EMF, electromotive force, the force which required for an electron movement in a conductor. The unit of voltage is volt and it is denoted by a letter V. Then what is current? Current is flow of free electrons in a conductor. The unit of current is ampere and it is denoted by a letter I. Then what is resistance? Resistance is a property of conductor which oppose flow of electrons or current. The unit of resistance is ohm, and it is denoted by a letter R. The valency electron become free electron when it is removed from the valency shell by applying a force and that force is called voltage or EMF. Imagine a boy is throwing a ball. The distance and the speed of the ball is depends upon the force applied to the ball. Therefore, the speed and the distance of the ball is directly proportional to the force. Same way here, electron flow in a conductor is caused by the voltage. More voltage will cause more electron flow and lesser voltage will cause lesser electron flow. Therefore, current is directly proportional to the voltage. In this image, you could see a river containing rocks. These rocks will slow down or oppose the flow of water in the river. Same way, resistance will behave like a rock in the conductor. It will oppose the flow of electrons in the conductor. In certain materials, resistance will be high. So, the current flow will be low. More resistance will cause lesser current flow and lesser resistance will cause more current flow. Therefore, current is inversely proportional to the resistance. Altogether, current is voltage by resistance. I is equal to V by R. Finally, Ohm's law states that at constant temperature, current is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance. From this Ohm's law triangle, voltage can be obtained by using the formula V is equal to I into R and current can be obtained by using the formula I is equal to V by R and resistance can be obtained by using the formula R is equal to V by I. Hope you all understand the concept of Ohm's law. Before concluding this session, let us have few questions on the topic what we have seen so far. Question time. Question number one. What is the unit of resistance? Option A. Volt. B. Ampere. C. Ohm. D. Resistance. And the answer is C. Ohm. Question number 2. What is the unit of current? And the options are A. Ampere. B. Ohm. C. Volt. D. Resistance. And the answer is A. Ampere. Question number 3. According to Ohm's law, current is inversely proportional to The options are A. Current B. Voltage C. Resistance D. Ampere And the answer is C. Resistance Question number 4. What is the formula to find the voltage in circuit? Option A. V equals I by R B. V equals I into R C. V equals R by I D. I equals R by V And the answer is B. V equals I into R Question number 5. What will happen to current flow in a conductor when resistance is high? Options are A. Current flow will be high Option B. Current flow will be low. 
Option C, current flow will be normal. Option D, no current flow. And the answer is B, current flow will be low. Thanks for watching.